What's up? Welcome to the Existential Stoic Podcast. Do you feel burnt out, just tired, stressed, don't know what to do with yourself? Well, today in luck, we're going to talk about how to avoid burnout. I'm Danny. I'm here with Randy. What's up, Randy? Yo, Danny. Have you ever felt burnout? <laughs> it's like a chronic condition these days. I know, right? <laughs> it never ends. Like, I remember, I remember back when, uh, I don't know, back before high school and stuff, before cell phones really came out, where, like, mm-hmm. you, the, the thought of a burnout was just somebody who smoked a bunch of weed. But nowadays, yeah. it's like, everybody's like, I'm burnout all the time. And it's like, is everybody high? <laughs> well, even in, like, even in high school, I remember, like, meeting every day, play video games, somebody's house or something. Like, there's always downtime. You know, now mm-hmm. it's like, when you get to adult life, it's just busy. You know, it mm-hmm. is. And you're trying to make something of yourself. It's hard. Mm-hmm. When so, does it end? Hopefully we can... Yeah, it doesn't end, right? <laughs> we can help people. Mm-hmm. Not being very positive here, Rob, but that's all right. Um, so we each have a few tips help you with this i'm gonna start so my first one is move on when you're stuck this actually i've been doing this a lot more recently because i'm always doing more than one thing most of us are and i noticed like before i would get stuck on something i get stressed out i'd start worrying about the time now when i get stuck i just recognize it move on to something else and then within like a you know at first i make progress on that thing and then within an hour or two i usually my brain you know regroups and i solve the problem that i was stuck on and it really is helpful and just decreases the stress and worry. Yeah, that's awesome. Because when you move on, you kind of get out of that same mind space or wherever you are stuck. And then you can kind of go forward. And Yeah, like change. let your brain think differently, you know, because when you're stuck, your brain's like, in the, it's like almost like in a loop, you know, you can't get out of it. So it does, it helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of, uh, kind of on the same thing, but more energetically uh, to avoid burnout, go outside. This is my thing yeah. where... I, you know, I never want to do it when I'm burnt out. I just want to like keep my head down and plow through it, but it doesn't help. So I go outside knowing that I won't want to do it. But then when I get out there, I'm like, oh my goodness, totally necessary. Cause there's just something about being outside where like the earth takes all that bad energy and just like dissipates it. And then you can almost slow down. Like there's just a nice quiet pace about nature and you can watch stuff out there. And there's so much to like, capture your senses like the wind blowing through the leaves or some water moving or just like little insects or whatever it is but it's just it really does help avoid burnout no it does dude you're right like i mean we're human beings we're animals we're natural creatures but we live in a world that's totally human made and most of us like most people don't even go out in nature for days or months at a time like you know really they're just in like a constructed world And when you go out there, you realize there's more than the human world. And if you think about it, I mean, really, it's only been since what, like the Industrial Revolution that we've lived like this. Before that, people were outside a lot more. So really, it's probably necessary. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And I I mean, even in the last 50 years, 50 to 100 years, because before then, most people were farmers. So even though they may have had a house that they went to sleep in, they spent all day outside. Or even if you did another trade, it was probably in an open area. Uh-huh. You know, like, like it wasn't like in a closed box or a cubicle or something. Yeah, it's a good one. My next one, and this is something I constantly try and remember, is good is better than perfect. Like, you just get it done. Don't stress about it being perfect. You, you know, you can always, and then, and you know, especially too, once you get one part, like one draft done or one thing, then you can go back and look at it again. So just knock it out, get it done, and move on. Don't stress about it. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. Good is always better than perfect. And it's crazy how, like, when you're stuck working on it, you think that, like, oh, it needs to be perfect. But then you get it done, and, like, two weeks later, you look back, and you're like, it didn't matter at all. <laughs> no, not even a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens true. to me all the time. Uh, my next one is do less. So this is something – I've heard it said, like, when you're when you're totally, like, burnout, out, you're, you spent, you're just, like, you feel like you can't get enough done, and there's not enough time in the day – sit down and meditate or like just stop doing everything because it's it's one of those things where doing more isn't going to help you it's just a problem that you have in terms of thinking that doing more will help you and so if you actually stop and do less it'll allow you to kind of restructure your mind your priorities what's important because in the end in the end we're all headed to a graveyard or a little jar you know, as a, as a thing yeah. of ashes and uh yeah. yeah at the end 
so we're all going to die. The world's still going to turn without us. So this whole concept that we're so important, we need to get stuff done. Eh, whatever. Yeah, that's a good point, though, because it is funny. Like, it's like when you get stressed out and burn out, you get caught in that loop, like where it's so important. I have to get this done. I got to keep going. Got to go faster. Got to grind. Mm. And the reality is, is like you need to step back and you need perspective. And doing less is a great idea. Yeah, stopping, just stopping. Sometimes, you you know, and sometimes we do. We need a weekend or a month sometimes to like regroup and like figure things out. Because when you keep going too, a lot of times you just keep going down the wrong road. And I think doing less can be a great way also to figure out what you really want and what's really good for you. So that's a good one. I like mm-hmm. that. That actually goes well with my last one. Just focus on the journey. Like we get so caught up in ends and completing things and goals. We forget that we're making daily progress and we're always moving towards the things we want if we really look at it. So like make self comparisons, look at your past and look at now and see how far you've come, but don't focus on the ends. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good one. I was doing that just this morning, how like there's all these things that I've done that I take for granted. I'm like, yeah, but of course I'm like trying, I'm trying to get out of my head where I'm like, look at all that I've accomplished. I'm like, yeah, but that was easy for me. Like, I need to do these things that aren't easy for me. That was in the past, therefore it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which actually so you really of... do you forget all the pain, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That doesn't count because it's not what I want now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so true. Uh, kind of almost relates to my last one, uh, which is admit your shortcomings, which is so counter to everything that we're uh, indoctrinated to believe like we're all meant to believe we're these absolutely spectacular human beings who can never do anything wrong and blah 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 and we need to be perfect everywhere and just like billionaires by 13 years old and all this stuff and it's just like you know what we're human we all have shortcomings yeah. no matter how good we are at something there's always going to be someone better at it than us so like if you can actually admit your shortcomings, then you have a much better chance of just being okay with it and being like, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm just not good at that. And that's okay. You know, what's nice about that too, is admitting your shortcomings can also help you really see where you shine. Because like, you know, we're all going to be good at some things and terrible at a bunch of things, you know, and that's fine. But sometimes admitting that helps you kind of focus on what you're good at and also seek help where you need it. And, you know, not just out about it. I like that one. So there you have it. How to avoid burnout. Uh, if you like this episode, please like, share, subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Check us out on YouTube as well. We'll be back later this week with a full-length episode. Until then, though, this is the Existential Stoic Podcast. Later, Andy. Later, Danny.